Hello, and welcome to Georgia College, and we're so glad to have you all with us today. Thank you to announce Nolan Belcher, our new head baseball coach. And I uh, can't thank you enough for joining us. We are doing this virtually. Uh, we are uh, here on our campus, uh, socially distanced and masked. And um, I really appreciate everybody being out there. And, and thank you for all of your support through this entire process. We do have some of our staff here today who are uh, uh, at the office and certainly appreciate everybody being here today. But today's about Coach Belcher, and I'm going to get you to him in just a second. But I'd like to say a few words of, about him, uh, about our student athletes, and about the process. So uh, before we turn over to Coach Belcher, and then uh, uh, I know uh, Al's going to have some questions uh, uh, for Coach, and, and uh, he'll talk about those, and you'll get to hear some of those things. And, and um, since we're not, uh, if, you, if you all want to reach out to Coach Belcher afterwards, uh, please feel free to do so. I know he'd love to hear from you. So thank you again for joining us on this great day for our university. Uh, first thing I want to do uh, is I want to thank our student athletes. And um, particularly I want to thank our baseball student athletes. And um, you all know how, how much this process has meant, how much you've meant to me and your patience during this process. I can't say that enough. I've told you this and I'll tell you a thousand times, thank you. Uh, your trust that you had in this process is greatly appreciated. The growth that you all went through during this process uh, is phenomenal. And uh, the, the, what, what, what you all did and the way you did it, I can't say thank you enough. Uh, thank you. Uh, that goes for the entire group. I uh, just want to thank you all and uh, the support that, uh, that you actually provided me during this process. Uh, it just can't be, can't be thanked enough. You came by the office, you just said, I trust you the whole time, and I just thank you, thank you so much. So I want to thank you for that. Uh, second, I want to thank Coach Gradecki uh, and her softball student athletes. Coach Gradecki did a phenomenal job of uh, working with the team during this process, out on the field, helping, uh, helping organize events uh, and, uh, 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 when, the, when the group was together which meant that her softball student athletes had to share her for a bit. And we appreciate that as well. You know, we really talk about our culture being unique, different, and appealing. And there's another way of how everybody steps in and, 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 and makes this unique, different, and appealing. So I thank you, Coach Grudecki and the, and the softball student athletes. Um, I thank um, our committee uh, who did a wonderful job of screening a fantastic pool of applicants to get here, uh, to get us to this point. Uh, and I want to thank Coach Barsby, Steve Barsby, uh, as, uh, for being the uh, chair of that committee uh, and did a fantastic job and uh, appreciate everything that he did in leading that group. And uh, we, we just a, did a fantastic job committee-wise. The whole process was great. Thank you. Um, I want to thank everyone who was patient during this process. I have many of you reach out to me with very, very encouraging notes. Hey, um, it's, it's going to happen. Uh, we, we trust you, you're doing the right thing. And, uh, and it is a process and we all grew from this. So I just appreciate everybody who was so kind and so positive with the positive encouragement to me uh, during this process. And we landed on just a fantastic uh, day here today. So with that said, let me talk about Coach Belcher uh, for a minute. And um, if you followed Nolan Belcher, uh, you followed success. And success follows him wherever he goes, okay? Uh, I remember, I remember Coach Barsby one time saying uh, a couple years ago when he was our assistant, he said, "Have you ever looked at Belcher's bio?" And I said, yeah, I'm not, "I haven't really studied it." He goes, "Look at it, and it's it's unbelievable. Uh, you know his his playing and coaching career, uh, his playing career is just phenomenal, uh, as we as we all know. Uh, but success follows him. But what leads that success is a humbleness that's hard to find." Um, uh, and he's just been fantastic. And, you, and, and those of you who know him, you see this on a daily basis. Um, the, uh, I'll tell you a funny story. Coach Gaines said to me, he goes, Wendell, uh, he's meeting with the candidates and as they're talking and this, that, and the other, he says, uh, he says, hey, listen, he says, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not saying on the, on the first five minutes I would have told you I was on two World Series teams. He said, but I will tell you this. At some point during the interview process, I probably would have dropped it out. So I thought that was kind of neat because we talked about that. But uh, –
I remember a story um, uh, that Coach Eller told, and he was walking out to the field one day. That was a piece of uh, trash, maybe, uh, on the way to the field. And here's Coach Belcher reached down and picks it up. And he, he said, if you keep it here for your team, he said, now, look, look at what you just saw there. Here's a guy that played for, uh, done everything any of us could ever imagine in a playing career. Is now your, your coach, and he sees that, and he takes time to do that. Just kind of goes in line with the continued character and work ethic that he shows every day. And we got to see this every day. Um, and our, our student athletes got to see it, and they're going to see it in an even even better way coming up. The last thing I'll tell you uh, uh, is, is his genuine care for people and the relationships that he builds. Uh, this outpouring of love and respect of comments that I've received um, uh, through, through – uh, people who have associated with Coach Belcher over the years. I mean, he's just consistent. It's just very, the, what you see is what you get, and you get it every day. Uh, he's not flashy. Uh, he's, uh, he's always working hard, and he is the ultimate team player. I mean, the ultimate team player. Um, so the last thing I always tell everybody is uh, for the, 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 the litmus test as a plane flies over above us here, uh, the litmus test that I always use as I say, would I want my child to play for this coach? 100% unequivocally, uh, I cannot say enough good things. Uh, and and as, as our parents uh, give us your most valued cargo, I assure you it's in the best of hands with a, just an incredibly humble, honest, and integrity person. So I'm thrilled to bring on board officially uh, today uh, with our new head baseball coach and wherever you are, I know you're going to be excited and give us a, a round of applause there virtually. Please welcome to Bobcat Nation, our new head baseball coach, Nolan Belcher. Coach, it's all yours. Appreciate it, Wendell. Never thought uh, my first press conference would be done virtually, but this is still a special day and I'm fired up and excited to be here. Um, thank you all for coming today. I'm honored and humbled to be the next head baseball coach here at Georgia College. Uh, I want to thank Wendell and President Dorman for giving me this wonderful opportunity to work at such a great university with some great people. Um, the opportunity to lead a program with such high academic standards, a rich baseball tradition, and back home in my home state of Georgia is a dream come true. I also want to mention a number of other people who have helped me along the way to get to this point. Um, all the way back to my days at Augusta Christian, Coach Lane and Coach Johnson. My head coaches at Greenbrier High School, Coach Ed Williams and Coach Rodney Holder. Greenbrier holds such a special place in my heart, and one of the main reasons for that is because of the coaches I had during that time. Still very close friends, and I can't thank them guys enough. My coaches at South Carolina, Coach Tanner, Coach Holbrook, Coach Myers, Coach Esposito, and Coach uh, Calvi. I learned so much from them guys during my time as a player and had such a special experience as a student athlete at the University of South Carolina. Can't thank them guys, some of the best coaches in the country. Coach Thomas over at USC Aiken gave me my first opportunity to be a college baseball coach. I jumped in there when I was done playing at South Carolina. He gave me a great deal of responsibility and it was uh, very beneficial for the growth of my career coaching there at the uh, University of South Carolina at Aiken. He let me do a lot of things and threw me right in the fire and it was a great learning experience. Um, Coach Eller for bringing me to Milledgeville and allowing me to get my first full-time paid assistant job in baseball here at Georgia College. Um, 
I could go on for a long time about Coach Eller, and I'm very thankful for everything he's done for me. And the best thing with Coach is while I was here, I got to learn from him not only as an assistant coach, but he was, a, he was an open book for me. He allowed me to see a lot of things that head coaches deal with and, uh, and point of views from a coach's, head coach's eyes, and I can't thank him enough for that. Coach Holbrook for giving me the chance to go down to the College of Charleston and become a Division I uh, assistant coach. Uh, I got to learn from a perspective of a volunteer assistant coach, and I tell you what, that was a very, very tough time. I have the utmost respect for all volunteer coaches around the country. Um, very, very difficult job, but it was great to a great learning experience for me doing different things down there as a volunteer. Um, back in March when COVID hit, it was a very tough time for everyone, but especially in, in the coaching world, volunteer coaches around the country. Uh, if you're not familiar with volunteer coaches, they have to make money in different ways, uh, lessons, hitting clinics, camps, and tournaments. So when COVID hit, all that stopped immediately. So it was a very tough time for myself and Rachel, my wife, um, but Coach Holbrook was there for me the entire time, never turned his back on me. And it was, uh, he was very supportive. I can't thank him enough for that. His family, Jen, Reese, and Coop, are such special people. Um, they made our experience down in Charleston just one of the best, and I can't thank them enough, and I'm so appreciative of their friendship. Uh, side note, Cooper, Coach Holbrook's youngest son, actually verbally committed to Vanderbilt University yesterday. So congrats, Coop. I know he's fired up, and uh, that's a special time for his family and, and Coop. So congrats there. I was going to try to recruit him here, but I think he made the right choice in going to Vanderbilt and playing for Coach Corbin. Um, to all my former players, thank you for all your hard work and effort through the years. I wouldn't be here today without you. I uh, probably learned more from you guys than you've learned from me, so thank you. Um, my wife, Rachel, as many of you know, it's very hard to be a coach's wife at times, but she's been such a trooper, and she's been with me the entire time, all the way back to my time at Aiken, and I'm so appreciative to have her in my life um, every step of the way. My parents, Janice and Brian Belcher, can't, uh, I could go on all day about them as well, but just very, very special people and so, so appreciative of them, how they've been encouraging and supportive throughout this whole, uh, my whole life, but especially during my coaching career. To all my former teammates, thank you for your continued friendship and support throughout the years. Uh, I've actually received many, many gifts from a few of them the past couple weeks, so I'm very thankful there. Great teammates, great friends, um, and so appreciative of them. To all the GC alum, thank you for the outpouring support and encouragement during this process. I've spoken to a number of them, and uh, I can tell you they are very fired up and passionate about this program. And I think with their support, we can move, uh, move things forward here in Milledgeville and do some awesome stuff. Um, one of the many reasons Rachel and I wanted to return back to Georgia College was because of the passionate alumni. And uh, I've already seen that and looking forward to meeting many, many more of them. Lastly, Kathy Kurtz. Her friendship and support through the years means the world to me. Kathy is one of the most genuine and generous people that I've ever met, and it would be hard to find anybody who's more genuine than her. Um, it's so exciting to be back close to her. We had lunch the other day, and it was so good to see her. Um, and I can't wait for game days in Milledgeville when I'm sitting in the dugout, and I look to, to my right, and Kathy will be there watching us play. I'm thrilled to be back in such a competitive league in the Peach Belt. There's so many great coaches, so many great programs, and I'm excited to get things going. Once again, I can't express how excited and thankful I am to be the, the head baseball coach here at Georgia College. Thank you all for coming out today, and go Bobcats.